Awesome. Well, Dino, thank you so much for joining us today to talk about showcase mode. Thank you very much hey, for having me. Dino, my Gino, Everybody have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> he hits a different, right? It hits different, Obi. Oh, yeah. All right, All right. bye, Dino. Take it easy. Up next, we've got some folks chiming in to give us the lowdown on my rise, the story-based mode of WWE2K where you make choices to rise to the peak of WWE superstardom. Here with us today, we have senior narrative designer, Andrea Listenberger, senior story designer, Chris Schroyer, and last but not least, story designer, Quatemo Marquez. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us. Yeah, it's nice to We're be here. excited to talk about my rise. Oh, we oh. are too. Uh, there is so much we can get into with my rise, but you all are providing us with the top 10 list breakdown of things players need to know. Take it away, y'all. Yeah, we are. Uh, I'm going to start with number one, which is one that I am perhaps most excited about. Uh, in my rise, you can play in either WWE division. Uh, that's right. I'm talking about playing in the WWE women's division for the first time ever. We have a solo division uh, with our female superstars uh, with unique content that separates it from the men's division. And I'm not talking about superficial stuff. I'm talking about storylines as unique as the characters in each division themselves. Number two, you'll be playing across all three brands. You'll learn from the best at the WWE Performance Center. Define what kind of superstar you're gonna be. Where you start your career really depends on the choices you make and how well you do in the ring. You'll have a chance to live your WWE superstar fantasies on Raw, SmackDown, NXT, uh, and you'll even have the ability to switch between all three brands along the course of your rise. Quadimo, what's next? Speaking of living out your fantasies, um, whether or not you start off as a hero or a villain in WWE, you're always at the center of your story. Um, and if you always want to put a little bit of a twist on your own story, you can also switch sides. You can you know, go bad or decide to choose different paths. Andrea, what about number four? In my rise, you can also choose between four different character backgrounds. Whether your character started off in MMA, like Ronda Rousey, the Indies, like Shotzi, maybe got a little football action in the pro athlete path, like Roman Reigns, or an actor like The Miz, you know, you get to decide your character's path. And that's really cool because each of those backgrounds has some unique story content and influences the path you take over the course of your WWE journey as a whole. Number five, we've had over 1,000 playable matches. That is 1,000, one, three zeros. Next is number six. Players can experience nine unique MyRise arenas that they can unlock and use in their own custom matches and gameplay. So uh, there are ones as, uh, such as the Japan Hall um, and Mexico City. What's your favorite? Mine is definitely Mexico City. It's beautifully rendered, it looks amazing, and I love that city. Just, you never know what's gonna happen there. Just, just saying, just saying, no, no spoilers. Number seven, My Rise has voice over from over 30 WWE superstars. And that includes WWE legends like Shawn Michaels, Beth Phoenix, Edge. Uh, and of course it always includes your favorites from today like Sasha Banks, Seth Rollins, the, the list goes on. Uh, I, I love the voiceover, especially from some of the more smarmy superstars because they definitely bring their own personalities to it. Uh, Sami Zayn's fun to listen to, Sonya Deville, less than a reliable narrator. And uh, Drew, Drew Gulak is a, a metric hoot and a half. So we got some good personalities uh, reflected in our game. All right, number eight. My Rise is going to be packed with choices and decisions that are, are going to inform your playthrough. And this is going to include things like rivalries, where you're going to make different decisions from the next person who's playing it. And you're going to have a totally unique, different experience just to yourself. So who you choose to go after, who you choose to spare, uh, that stuff matters. Next is number nine. Um, we really wanted every match to feel like a live event. So uh, we went about recording over 3,000 voice lines with your favorites like Saxton, Corey Graves, and Michael Cole. So they've got their own My Eyes commentary just for you. Andrea, let's, uh, let's do the best for last. Oh, the best for last? The best for number 10? Yeah. Uh, I could do this because this, this fact pretty much speaks for itself. My Rise between the men's and women's division storylines 
has over 50 hours of gameplay time. Boom, mic drop. In the first part of the Ringside Report, we had Dino from Showcase on the show. Before he left, he had a question for you all about my rise. Hey team, my rise. As you know, I've been a little busy with Showcase, so I'm just a little curious. Like, what kind of choices do I get to make in uh, my rise this year? Am I gonna be able to go from a good guy to a bad guy? Can I chase some championships? Maybe I get to join a faction or something? What's the deal? Let me know. Well, Dino, uh, I, I think the big thing about my rise is that you know, if we had one guiding principle, it, it would be choice. Like you have agency this year to decide where you start. You have agency to decide if you're a protagonist or antagonist. You have agency even to decide the order in which you play these various storylines and challenges. So before we close out y'all, you, the three of you have been spending so much time solely focused on my rise, but now that you're getting to spend time elsewhere, what other, modes or areas of the game are you most excited to check out and let's start with Quatemo. uh i'm super excited for showcase um i love Rey stereo i love seeing latinos out there you know doing the best and i love especially seeing other uh, chicanos out there doing the best so i'm excited to see him and get a sense of his natural mysterious charisma chris how about you oh it has been years since i've been able to play it the return of my GM. That's the, that's going to be the first thing I'm going to load up as soon as I get it day one. It's got that's got to be where I'm at. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, Andrea. Uh, honestly, I'm just starting to bully my friends into getting their copies so that we can all get online <laughs> and I could trash talk them and show them how it's done. It's it's just online play. How cool is that? So that wraps it up for Ringside Report episode three. Thank you to Dino Machino Zucconi from the Showcase team. And also thank you to Andrea, Chris, and Quatemo for joining us from My Rise. If you missed episodes one and two on all things gameplay and MyGM, click the link below to check it out. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll talk to you all soon. And in the meantime, check us out on social media at WWE Games. Peace. Bye.